Hi everyone, today I will be showing you how to make bubble tea from the comfort of your own home. This recipe is fairly simple. You will need brown sugar, white sugar, and tapioca pearls, in addition to some water and a drink of your choice. First, we are going to cook the pearls. You want the water at a rolling boil before you add the pearls. We added one quarter cup of pearls, which ended up being a little more than two servings. You want to cook the pearls on medium heat with occasional stirring, basically until the pearls turn black. Then you can turn off the stove and make the brown sugar syrup. For the brown sugar syrup, you want to add a 1 to 1 ratio of brown sugar and granulated white sugar. We used 1 quarter cup of each. Stir the mixture until it's homogenous and keep it on medium heat to boil the water away. We want a mixture that still has some water content so the sugar doesn't harden. Make sure to keep stirring the syrup. When it's done, rest it on low heat. Make sure the heat is low enough to keep it warm but not hot to keep it boiling. Scoop out some pearls and put them in your serving container. Make sure to add a generous amount. Next, we're going to add a little bit of water and strain the pearls and syrup from the container. To do this, put the strainer at the top of the container, then flip it upside down and shake it a couple times. You probably want to repeat this two to five more times depending on how much of this cooking syrup you have. Next, we're going to scoop out some of the brown sugar syrup and put it in your serving container. If you want to be really aesthetic, you can tip the container a little bit and spin it to get the syrup on the walls. Okay, we're almost done. Now you want to add your beverage of choice to your container. Make sure it's all pretty, add some ice if you want. Finally, go outside, get some nice pictures for your Instagram to make your friends jealous, and enjoy. Hey guys, welcome to Quarantine Cooking. This is my kitchen, and we'll be making some matcha chocolate chip cookies. So first you'll need two cups of flour. Then you'll need like a tablespoon of this matcha powder. It's kind of expensive, but that's okay. And then you just put it in. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. And then half a teaspoon of baking soda. And you're just gonna mix all of these together in a bowl. You'll need around three fourths cup of butter, but I'm adding a little less just because it's quarantine and uh, not much exercise is going on. And you'll just melt the butter. You'll need around one cup of brown sugar, but again, I'm adding a little less than that. And then you'll need half a cup of granulated white sugar. Also put that in the butter. And you're just gonna mix it. And then you'll crack in one egg. These eggs are tiny. Oh. extra egg yolk. Uh-oh. Um, whatever. And then you'll just mix it all together. Now you're supposed to add a tablespoon of vanilla extract, but we ran out of that and I don't really want to go to the grocery store. So now you have your ingredients. You're just going to put all the flour and matcha powder, all that, into the big bowl. And you'll just mix it all together. Once it's all mixed together, it should look like this. And right now you're supposed to put in chocolate chips around one cup, but we ran out. So instead I cut up some, uh, some Kit Kats and you can just put these in. And then you're just going to take scoops of the dough, roll it into a ball, and put it on a pan. Now you prep your oven and preheat it to 325 Fahrenheit. And 
then you will bake these for around 10 to 12 minutes.